before the video starts, if you are tired of grinding badges, make sure you hit up my boy Sports TMB. The link to his Twitter will be in the description. Tell him that I sent you, and he will hook you up. You'll get your badges in a few days, and you'll be good to go. Also, if you're looking to sell your account or buy a new account, he does account selling as well. So make sure you hit him up, tell him that I sent you, and he'll take care of you. All right, all right, all right. Now listen, check it out. I didn't invent this, so don't go down to the comment and be like, Bill, I've been doing this for months. Shut the fuck up. This is the first time I'm bringing it to the attention of my channel, my viewage. All right, so if you're going to fucking go down to the comments, at least drop a like before you go leave some dumbass comment. All right, bet. Now, the team that we're playing, obviously, we're only an amateur team right now, so like they're not that good. I forget what their record was, but... They got a computer, but that doesn't matter. He's not matched up on me. This is just to show what this glitch does and the fact that it has to be patched because it's so, like, it's so cheesy, overpowered. It's not supposed to be in the game. It needs to get patched. They need to find a way to fix it. The B button in 2K is meant to set screens, throw bounce passes, whatever. Last year, there was the BB glitch off ball. This year, you got this bullshit that people do in the paint. And, you know, you can use it to get buckets. You can use it to get rebounds. And like I said, it's not supposed to be in there, so they should get rid of it. Now, this is what the post game is supposed to look like, bro. Like, you're battling for position, you get the ball, you make a good move, you score, he plays good D, you miss. It's supposed to be a battle like that, using the left trigger, using the right stick and the left stick to jockey for position. He's trying to push you out, you're trying to push him in. No homo, you understand what I'm saying? You know, up and unders, all this stuff that's supposed to be there. This is what it's supposed to look like. You know, we're jockeying for position. I'm using the left trigger. He's using the right stick to try to deny me the ball. I end up getting it. I back him down. He's trying to play good hands up defense, but I time my drop step properly and I get a bucket. That's what the post game is supposed to be like. But this game, of course, there has to be shit that you can abuse like every year. So check this out. You go into paint, you hold B. You get the ball, you dunk it. So let's look at it again. Like, look it. Right here. He should be able to body me up and stay between me and the hoop. But since I'm holding B, he can't get the body up animation because the game thinks I'm setting a screen and you can't body up the screen. So instead, he slides right around me. I then release B and hold left trigger and I get inside position. Now, I don't do this every play, but I just wanted to show you guys. You see, like I score other ways in the post, obviously. But I wanted to show you that how overpowered it is. And we're going to look at it a couple more times here. And I'm going to show you what the end result was in the game, how many points I scored and whatnot. It's the same thing here. As the ball comes up the court, right? There's no three seconds in the backcourt, so I can be in the paint all I want. He has good defensive position right here, right? So instead, since he's leaning on me, I just push B and watch. He goes into a slide animation. Boom, now I have inside position, and it's an easy two points for me. That is not supposed to... That's not what the B button is meant for in this game. I think they got to patch it, bro. Like, I don't know if they can, but they need to. The same thing again. No three seconds in the backcourt. The three seconds doesn't start until we're in the front court. So you see, I hold B. He slides right around me, right here, boom, because he's leaning on me. And then I press B. He can't lean on me anymore because, like I said, you can't get that body up animation. He slides right around. I have inside position, and it's an easy dunk. And you see how often this works. Now, a lot of you are going to say, oh, well, that kid's trash. That kid's trash. I don't know if he's trash or not, but there's teams on the Xbox and Pro Am, mainly people run five out, but on on PS4, there's teams that do this. They just paint mash. You see, he ends up quitting the game right before it ends because I don't blame you, bro. It's cheesy as hell, and I would get frustrated too, people doing this. The only way to really stop it is like if you double team, you have a, two people around him, but then you're leaving shooters open, and it's ass. Like The fact they can't body you up when you hold B just allows you to get inside position all the time for whatever you want, rebounds, points, and, and whatever. Like I said, teams on PS4, I think, really take advantage of this more from what I hear. I don't really know. But I know on Xbox, most teams just run five out. But like I said, you can just abuse this. People do it on the park too. And, you know, in the stage to get rebounds when their teams miss shots. Like, because you can't, as a defender, get the body up animation when someone's setting the screen. So it's trash, bro. It needs to be patched. And I hope you agree with me. Like, this has to be patched. I'm abusing it and I'm saying it needs to be patched. Like, this shit is trash. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me. 81, they'll bring the crashes to the party. And you know me. Turn the O2 into the O3.